Yo, guys, what's up? It's Primetime Fulton. I forgot to add myself to the stream. <laughs> uh, anyway, guys, uh, I, I just got done uh, streaming for two hours over on Todd's Truth uh, cr uh, Creator uh, uh, streams, and I had a great time. Uh, I was with Mike McMahon, Clint Holinsky. We we're talking Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch, which is on Indiegogo right now, as well as U.S. Assassin, which the in demand store is closing at the end of the end of the month uh but we're uh had the mailing list up for uh book three uh it's a big crossover with graveyard shift and uh first appearance of the mercenary uh flip gordon for any of you wrestling fans out there flip is a member of ring of honor one of my favorite wrestlers has such a great look he's just perfect for the the u.s assassin universe so i'm excited to uh to have him involved in the project and to have mike drawing him in the book <laughs> Hey, there's Todd right now. Hey, Mark, sorry my window crashed. Oh, that's all right, man. <laughs> I, it's funny when you uh, stream, you never know what the proper etiquette is when a, a stream uh, ends. Some people just like peace out really quick. Uh, other people hang out and uh, and uh, talk. Uh, so when the stream ended, Todd just disappeared. So I was like, oh, okay, he's just one who when it's over, it's over. Uh, but apparently his window just crashed. So it, it's all good, Todd. Thanks so much for having us uh, on uh, tonight. I really appreciate it. It was great talking with you. Um, and I really appreciate all your support with uh, U.S. Assassin. Uh, but uh, tonight, I, I earlier today, I got this in the mail, this uh, package from a book I backed. And it's a book I've been uh, looking forward to getting for quite some time. It's Butch Cleaver. Um, now. With crowdfunding, I know there's a lot of excitement about like the bigger, the bigger names. Um, but for me, I love finding uh, like a, a new book uh, to get excited about. And when I saw uh, Butch Cleaver, it uh, it actually reminded me of a old school '90s Marvel book called uh, Terror Inc., uh, which is ironic because I just I just bought a complete run of uh, Terror Inc. and and they arrived today, so. Uh, here they are right now. And so when I saw Butch Cleaver uh, last year on Indiegogo, um, I saw the creator. Uh, we were talking about this over on Todd's stream. Uh, you see creators, you see how excited they are, how passionate they are talking about their projects. They kind of just like win you over. So when I saw Butch Cleaver uh, campaign going on, hearing the creators talk about it, was so cool, but the thing that really grabbed me was they had a death metal song for their campaign, and I was like, "Oh, uh, th this is awesome! Uh, this guy's cool. I, I want to support him." And like everything I saw of the book, it just it looked like it was right up my alley. I love like like real. I don't know. Th uh, this just like screams like true indie DIY, um, and that's what that's what I love. Uh, it, you can just tell the book was made with a lot of passion. So I got this in the mail today gonna open it up and and see what see what I got you know a lot of times I can't even uh, remember what I even uh, back because I like to support as many campaigns as possible so uh, first off Gemini mailer that's uh, the way to go uh, books came securely packaged and I uh, got a whole lot of stuff here I uh, got a got a graphic novel nice and thick and then uh, Butch Cleaver number one. I, I don't even remember this being part of the campaign, so I don't know if it was a stretch goal or what, but this is super cool. There's a bunch of extras as well. I'm going to open them up and we're going to flip through it, see what I got. So, of course, you got that 6 a.m. comics uh, sticker. This looks awesome. I love it. Such a cool uh, character. I love the design. A couple trading cards. This is just uh, black and white line art. Uh, this is art by Jason Bascom. And, uh, you know, Butch Cleaver is still in demand, so I have the link in the description. If you haven't checked it out already, uh, I would highly recommend it. It's a book I was just really excited about. Here's another Butch Cleaver trading card. Has the power rankings on the back, like we did for the graveyard shift cards. Very cool. I'll, I'm gonna have to see how he matches up compared to uh, like Vlad and Mick later. Uh, Todd said it was a great stream and a lot of fun. Yeah, Todd, I really appreciate it. 
So we'll, we'll check out this book first. I'm not I'm not entirely sure what the the floppy is, unless it was like a like a first issue of the completed book. But Butch Cleaver is by Matt Burke. This is called Slaughterhouse Homicide. Just love it. Awesome looking artwork. Cool character. Some nice violence. <laughs> Some entrails in that. Oh, this is awesome. I don't want to spoil it for people, but there's a great shot of uh, just bones poking out of uh, through Butch Cleaver's trench coat and impaling some some dudes. So this is awesome. Um, so let's see let's see if this is part of the collected edition or if it's a new solo story. I'm not really sure. Great cover artwork on the back of the graphic novel. Here's the front of the cover. Nice square bound spine. Uh, that's like my biggest thing when I back a campaign. If it has a square bat, uh, bound spine, uh, you know, I I'm more inclined to get the book. Okay, so yeah, I was right. The floppy is like part of this. So I get the whole story here. Awesome. So this was a nice, nice bonus to have the like the first appearance, the, the first issue of this collected edition. So that's great. In the back, there's a nice uh, behind the scenes artist gallery. Some really nice artwork in here. Oh, there's a great piece uh, by Preston Acevedo. Looks fantastic. Yeah, this is great. Uh, definitely money well spent. Uh, it's, it's a thick book, uh, too. I would guess maybe 64 pages, just just from, uh, from I and up, I would think. Uh, but anyway, I'm super excited with this. I'm glad I backed it. Uh, so to recap, I got the the graphic novel, I got the the floppy, and then I got two trading cards. Here's the back of the trading cards. This awesome 6 a.m. sticker. Yeah, very excited, uh, very happy with it. Uh, anyway, guys, uh, make sure you check out Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch on Indiegogo. There's about 23 days left in the campaign. Uh, we're so close to unlocking the $15,000 stretch goal. Also, uh, the U.S. Assassin uh, in demand store closes for book two. You can also get book one on it. Closes at the end of this month, end of February. Make sure you get the books. You're going to want them for uh, book three. Uh, when we do our uh, graveyard shift crossover, uh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Butch Cleaver looks fantastic. Uh, you know, shout out to uh, to Matt Burke. He did a great job on the book. Uh, but yeah, make sure you uh, check out the in demand store for U.S. Assassin, uh, the the volume three uh, crossover with graveyard shift. Super excited for it. Just so much going on in it. Uh, we got you know the mercenary Flip Gordon. We have the new recruits. Uh, Slither and uh, Zero Face are, are back. Uh, just a lot of fun. And also go sign up for the mailing list for book three for U.S. Assassin and look for Viking Wolf uh, sometime in March. Anyway, guys, thanks for joining me tonight for this short little, you know, 10 minute video. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Uh, tomorrow I'm streaming with with uh, RT Bear over on his channel. Me and Clint will be there talking Sea Dog and Codename Kill Switch at 8 p.m. Eastern. And then uh, at 9 p.m., I will be on Indie Vault talking about Sea Dog. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you later.